It might be the cheeks flushing with embarrassment, or a voice choking with emotion. Our physical reactions can reveal what we truly feel. And some think they can show when someone's lying. Typically, when a person tells a lie, they begin to sweat. I'm sure we've all seen the 1940s and 50s interrogation movies where the person in the hot seat uh, has a sweaty brow or a sweaty uh, upper lip or perhaps sweat dripping down from their sideburns. All right, if you lean forward in the chair, put your arms out in front of you like you're going to dive into a swimming pool, this will go around your stomach. Jack Tremarco right, uses physical back. sensations to probe for truth. His primary tool? The lie detector, or polygraph. And this cuff is just like the one that the doctor... Polygraph puts works very similar to any other biofeedback instrument. It simply records uh, deviations from a person's physiological norm, such as someone's blood pressure going up and then coming back down, or perhaps a, a decrease or an increase in pulse rate, or sweat gland activity. Are you sometimes known as Bobby? Yes. A polygraph examiner knows what to look for when questioning someone. Do you intend to be completely truthful with me? Yes. Any deviation from normal could signal deception. Our body can give us away. And are you sure that I won't try to trick you on this test? Yes. We may think we're being cool, but when we're stressed, our network of nerves starts to prepare our body for action, as if it's under attack. It's a response that harks back to our ancient ancestors. Fight or flight. It starts by triggering your stress hormone, adrenaline. Your heart rate increases to pump more blood to your muscles as if you were about to go into battle. Your breathing deepens as vital oxygen reaches your muscles. And you begin to sweat. The body cools so that you won't overheat when rushed into action. The brain won't let us stop this survival strategy. These basic nervous functions are automatic. That's why a polygraph can often uncover a liar.